these kids will never forget what they see today. It'll be like ingrained in their brains forever. I think it's amazing that I can have over 100 students basically walk into an operating room and see what we really do in real life in there. It would be several thousand dollars for me to take all 100 students somewhere basically. This allows us to, you know, to do this right here. It's cost effective and the, you know, the bang for the buck, how many kids you're reaching. We took out half of Mr. Medina's stomach for a known stomach cancer. And not only do you have to take the stomach out, but you also have to put things back together. If I would be interested in doing it for the but a school down there so they could see how it's done with the robotics. I agree to it because uh, uh, somebody could learn from it. During the operation, they were able to vary the cameras. So just with the flip of a switch, they could have a camera showing everything that I'm looking at when I'm doing the operation. Or they could flip a switch and they had a camera actually inside the operating room lights so that they could actually look straight down and anything that I'm doing inside the abdomen when I was at the abdomen pulling the stomach out. After the vessel's been cauterized, um, why does it like, does it continue to flow blood afterwards? Like, what was really nice is we could dovetail what they were learning in class with something that was happening right then and there. So they were learning about all the GI system and then I could show them, here's how I'm using the information that you've even learned and here are how it impacts what I do the stuff that you've learned in your class, that's important right here. What do you do if the lens gets dirty during the procedure? It is so refreshing to see the hunger and the thirst that these children have and the interest that they have in health care. And I'm hoping that this will spark some interest in some of these kids in wanting to join Sarasota Memorial Hospital's operating room. This instrument here is an internal stapler. My purpose today was basically to keep the communication going between the surgeon and the students and to answer any questions that they may have. Actually being able to see inside somebody's body was really neat and um, for the surgeon to be able to explain everything and answer questions I thought that was really nice. Hopefully there was an appreciation not only of one aspect but there were some kids there that said hey I like that part over there that's the cool part because uh, there were other kids I knew when I when I uh, heard from the audience when I was doing certain things there was a lot of ooh. So it's not for everybody. So hopefully we showed a wide range of, of what can inspire them, what they can accomplish. I thought that, that was really great that they gave us this opportunity that they actually took their time to be a part of students' lives and um, to actually show us what's going on and it was really nice of them.